Ready? I'm not doing this introduction. You want to put your phone down? I you said ready. I said, let's go. Because you, you said I'm going to keep going over and over. I'm like, no, I'm going to hit start. Let's do it. What do you want me to introduce your ass? Lord Commander Chief General. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. I'm a physical therapist and health and wellness coach. And I thought it would be fun today to just pop in and share a little bit about like how our marriage has changed. You guys know I've been on my 100 pound weight loss journey. And I thought it would be fun to kind of like share ways in which our marriage has changed since I started my journey. So as I mentioned, I'm Felicia and this is my husband. Supreme General Commander. <laughs> <My name's laughs> okay, and then, so guys, my goal is to try to keep this video as quick as possible. So what I did was I just gave him the title and I was like, let's just talk about a little bit how our marriage has kind of like changed or improved or whatever, like since I've been on my 100 pound weight loss journey. So we both have our notes, but we have not shared our notes with each other yet. So I have no idea what he's gonna say. So, and he's also not used to like being on YouTube and all that stuff. So if I nudge him, it's not because I'm trying to control him. There are just certain <laughs> things that you cannot say on the channel, okay? I'm safe. I'm not under duress. <laughs> So you guys, so far I have lost a total of almost 45 pounds so far and thank you. I appreciate that. And it's just been a great journey. I think that anytime you go on a weight loss journey, you tend to like learn more about yourself and more about who you are. And I do want to preface this video with saying that I did not lose weight like because of my husband. Like he didn't tell me to lose weight. As a matter of fact, he never even really like talked about my weight to me i don't know if he talked about it with his boys or his friends or whatever but as far as i'm concerned we never talked about my weight at all i mean if anything i think that's part of the reason why i was overweight for so long because in my head like i'm the head cheerleader <laughs> so i'm always like hyping myself up and he does that too he he's very sweet loving all of that stuff wonderful so, is the word she's going for yeah, my weight has never been as a result of like him. It's been because it's something that I want to do for myself. So, how many reasons do you have? How many ways? I only, I only mentioned. I have five. Four, but as I talk, I'll probably think of another. One. Okay, so he, um, I have five. He said he has four, so I'll go first. So the first thing that I noticed like throughout my journey is that I feel that he respects me more, and I don't feel like it's a matter of like that he didn't respect me before. But I feel that anytime you start to take better care of yourself, that you start to respect yourself more. And as a result, like when people see, like when you treat yourself differently and like people <clears throat> see the way that you treat yourself, that they, they just follow suit. Like it's natural human reaction. Like when you're treating yourself better then other people treat you better as well. And also, and also I agree, uh, as you mentioned that I would, I would agree with what you say because, uh, I, I do respect you more. I respect your decisions uh, towards your health and being the best version of you. And I respect them so much. I also try to do the same thing in my life. To, yes. What is it you say? I, so the running joke is that he wants to be me so bad. Yeah. I tell him all the time, like, I'll be like, oh my gosh, you want to be me so bad. Like, I'll eat something or like, I'll start fasting and he starts fasting or like, I'll start like walking and then he starts walking. And then I started running, you guys. I started adding my interval trains in. Guess who's now trying to like kill their one mile time? So I tease him. I'm like, oh my gosh, you want to be me so bad. Yeah, you're such an influencer. <laughs> Whatever. But I do think that like when people see you like implementing more healthier choices, like it's just a direct result. So go ahead. What was yours? Okay, so that will lead me into my first thing I listed because she's increased in, in our relationship because she's increased the amount that she's working out and being athletic and, and eating better uh, and I'm part of this team and I believe in what she's doing. I've also done the same thing. I'm down several pounds and uh, without a lot of effort just you know doing some of the same things. Eating all my yummy food. <laughs> eating all your, yeah, of course. <laughs> My wife is a great cook, she really is. Uh, but also, uh, because we go on walks and then she did some sprints, uh, now in the mornings, for less than a week, but recently, I've been going on a run, I'll do a mile in the morning, and it, it, she, it what sets the tone for my day, I just feel better. My body just feels like it's more organized. Uh, and I, I feel great and I want to continue that. And you're happier. And I think happier. he's happier too. Like he comes back and like 
such mm. a great move. Like what the first no 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 like the second time that he did it and he came back and he his whole mood like my husband is not a morning person i am like you guys know i'm up at like 4 a.m so i'm like waiting for him to open his eyes I'm, and wake up i'm better with a cup of coffee yeah yeah i'm better with a cup of coffee but correct yeah, she, but yes. with the run i noticed like he can almost match my energy in the mornings now and i like that I would not imagine that. I don't yes, that. you're close, like 75% now. What a compliment. <laughs> because you have quite a bit in the morning. <laughs> All right, quite guys. A bit. So the second thing that I've noticed, or like the second benefit is that since I've been on my 100 pound weight loss journey, I've realized that we have like a common goal and I really love and enjoy that. As a matter of fact, I think that that is healthy for all marriages you know or relationships i think that when you have a common goal to work towards like for instance it could be something financial it can be like related to you know one person going back to school and the other person is supporting them or whatever it is something you want to do with your kids just having a common goal it allows you like it gives you more things to talk about it gives you more things to daydream about and work towards and it gives you that like opportunity to work as a team and i really love and i appreciate that Excellent, excellent. I'm going to go to my next one. Okay. Uh, this is something I've noticed in our relationship that has begun to occur since this young lady has been uh, taking better care of herself and lost weight. This one caught me off guard. We have faster, more efficient dressing changes. <laughs> so when we're getting ready to go somewhere to an event and uh, you know how in the past we had those moments where I would just get dressed and I would sit down and play on my phone and then she would be like, okay, let's hurry up. You're running, you're making me late. You're making me late. And I'm like, okay, let's go. Uh, those moments have decreased. There's less dressing changes. Like you'll say, I'm going to wear a red outfit and the red outfit makes it out the door. <laughs> everybody knows the original outfit doesn't always make it out the door. Uh, so I, I noticed that and I like that. Okay, so ladies, First of all, let's just talk about, there's been a couple things with that. So first of all, um, the whole debt-free journey, like before you guys saw when I first, I'll link the video like in the description bo box below, but you guys saw when I did that Sheen haul, like that was the first time that I had actually gone out and like actually like spent money on clothes for myself. So that was very rewarding, but that was as a result of like paying off a ton of debt and hitting some other financial goals. So I will say financial, um like difficulties kind of like played a part of that in the beginning and then another thing too was you guys saw where i decluttered my closet so since i've been able to like lose weight and everything i have found that um like now i can kind of go into the store and like pick clothes off the rack and they actually like they fit the way that i you know how sometimes like you imagine an outfit fit in a certain way and then like when you put it on it's just not hitting yeah so like now i found that things kind of hit the way that i want them to so i will say that decluttering my closet made a huge difference in that but he's right like before i lost weight i would rotate in between like so many sizes because my weight was constantly like up and down up and down and i never knew like what would fit so yeah like sometimes um i would say i'll just grab something I'm like oh yeah i'll wear this and then I'll get dressed and everything and I put it on and I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't remember this looking like this. It happens to us all. So so yeah, like the fact that I'm not I'm no longer like in between a gazillion sizes has definitely made a big difference. Who's in front of our house? Is that your boyfriend? Tell him he can't come over while I'm home. Hold on guys, there's someone in front of our house. So is it, is was that yours? Okay. Now for me, for number three, sorry about that. So for number three, um, I found that since I've been on this 100 pound weight loss journey and also started my brand, Happily Ever After Living, that now I have a greater appreciation for like a long time and a greater, greater appreciation for my own space. Um, sometimes in relationships, it is very easy, especially when you kind of like enjoy each other's company, it's very easy to form this codependency and my husband is really good at like he's okay just being like by himself kind of chill like he could just as a matter of fact i'll give you an example so like when we first met and we were dating i would say to him like on his off days i'm like what'd you do today 
and he'd be like, nothing. And he really meant it. Like he really did nothing the entire day. And like, whereas with me, like if I'm all for a day, you better believe I've got like a list of 20 things that I'm gonna zoom through and get done and be so proud and happy about. And I noticed that like before I started the brand that I would always like try to like get him like, come on, let's do this, like get him all into it. And I think that now since I've been on my journey and since I've also been doing the brand, like when he wants and needs that like downtime that I'm able to take my energy and like put it into something else like this. And I found that it gives me an identity outside of just being like a mom or just been a wife or just been a physical therapist, like coming here, sharing with you guys and spending time, time with you guys, it gives me like another outlet. Okay. Do I bug you as much? As much. Do you ever bug me, dear? Oh God, she being so what, nice. What are we, was that a loaded question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what's your next one? Oh, uh, in this journey of this 100 pound weight loss, uh, in our relationship, we both are eating better. I, I kind of mentioned that earlier. However, uh, she does a lot of meal prep, and uh, I've been requested that I don't eat all the different multiple meals in the same day. So she makes chicken and beef and fish. I'm not supposed to eat it all on Monday. And uh, I've, you know, I, I've gotten framed for this. You know? <laughs> I, I'm not admitting uh, that I did any of that, but. Uh, well, is it better with the buffet style? Like where you can eat a little bit of whatever? Is that better? Versus like the containers where it was like, don't eat all the containers. It's the, 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 the prepared meals that are set, that are there. I can get whatever I want whenever I want. Yes. It's great. I'm going to do that okay. regardless. <laughs> I'm going to do it regardless. Do it regardless. You guys, this is what I'm talking about when <laughs> I talked about that meal prep and like how it makes certain containers. And like, let's say for instance, if each person had like, you know, one container for dinner per night. Yeah. Whenever they wanted more, they would just eat it regardless. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm, you know, I'm watching portion and amount more. So I'm eating better. And uh, it's good for me long term. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm working on uh, living to be 150, and uh, we're gonna see how that goes. I love it. 150. All right, guys. And for me, my number four would be that since I've been on this journey, I feel that I am now the fun parent again. <laughs> this has. I mean, it's just not like between the two of us, but you know, overall, like it still pertains to our marriage in some ways. Because in most relationships, I just feel like the dad gets to be the fun parent. Like, I mean, yeah, the dad like is like a disciplinary, but the mom is like the one that's like always, you know, making sure the ship is running, the ship is running on time, the ship has everything it needs. Like, I feel like moms tend to like carry that role. And I feel like since I've started this journey, that I'm the fun parent again. Like the kids never know what I'm gonna come up with. Like, maybe we're gonna go hiking, maybe we're gonna go to the beach, maybe we're gonna go do this. Maybe, and then especially like with intermittent fasting and the fact that we mostly eat at home. So whenever the urge comes to like go out to eat somewhere, it's like, oh, well let's go get this. Or like, I'll surprise them and we'll go get, I'll take them to go get ice cream. Like, because now I feel that I no longer have to have the ice cream just because they do it. So I feel like this journey has allowed me to be the fun, the cool parent again. Okay. Uh, I, I, I've never sat and thought about that. Really? Yes. You I, were such a cool I, parent. I, I, I think by default I will always be like the fun parent because um we we I, what's the word I'm supposed to say? I don't know. You I'm, can say I'm it. more relaxed about everything. True. That's I'm more true. More relaxed. I don't. I, I'm. I, it's. I. I process stress differently and thing. A lot of things that bother a lot of people don't bother me. And there's things that should bother me. They don't bother me. Yeah. So, <laughs> And then, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so liberal about with my opinions on a lot of things, a lot of things. So uh, I'm, I'm a fun person regardless, always. Yeah, but General like... General commander. I'm a fun person too, but I think, I don't think I have to go into it. I think that the ladies will understand what I mean. Like when I say that sometimes it's hard to be the one that's like keeping everything 
running like to not i'm not the captain i definitely don't claim that title at all don't even want it like hello captain you could do all of that general but, captain commander but i am <laughs> i'm definitely what would you call it would i be like i am the cfo because the financial person but also like the one like the project manager that's kind of what i would say it is right like i'm the one that like makes sure everything gets done is the project manager the person that sits in the office barking off orders while the work do is get things done? Is that what you mean? Just a yes or no question. <laughs> you little snot. <laughs> mm. Yes. Yes, I'm not afraid. That's me. Okay, so what's we're, the next one? Okay, here we go. My five star, my five star. Oh gosh. Line, my my journal five tip. This line. this is the most incredible out of everything I've said. This is the moment where I want you to put the timestamp on this. Okay. So people can say if nothing else is important that that he said. This is the thing. Timestamp on this. You can play this part for your husbands. <laughs> Because this is fascinating. I didn't see this coming. I have no idea what he's about to say. I was completely caught off guard by this, but as I was writing things down, this came to me and I was like, oh, this is huge. And then I put one star and two stars and then I went up to five stars. So this is a five star uh, statement right here. Here we the go. The build up. Here we go. Yes. Uh, in this journey, this 100 pound weight loss, uh, creating a better uh, sense of self and health and wealth. Uh, I have noticed those moments when we have heated discussions or disagreements or even an argument, even an argument, those moments that we, these things occur, the duration is much shorter. It's much shorter. And uh, we can reach resolutions more quickly like we can uh agree and you can come to a resolution more quickly i have noticed that and i think it has something to do with uh this journey absolutely like yeah. what you huh like what like what do you mean like what, what do like you what do you, when you say you think it has like what uh, what part about the journey is making it better if you had to guess i attribute it i attribute it to you uh I attribute it to you eating better. I attribute it to you <laughs> fast eating. So not fasting. Animal. Okay, okay. I, I attribute it to you your weight loss is like I, I don't know, but this didn't happen as much as it does now. Okay. So like when so we have disagreements, we can reach a resolution quicker. And there were times where like uh, in the past where we wouldn't reach an agreement and we go over the same thing. Like over and over. An extended period of time, you know, keep popping back up. That doesn't happen so much. I think every man out there that <laughs> you have someone that's a man in your life, someone, your mate, you, I want, I want them to hear that part. So if I had to, um, I think a lot of that has to do for me. And you guys know, like here on the channel, I talk about like um, my hormonal health and all of that. And I think that like whenever you're stressed or like you hold on to things, I think that it well I actually I know like it increases like your cortisol levels and it's just not worth it, I guess. Mm -hmm. And I think that for me, um, since I've been on this journey, like a part of my lifestyle change truly has been managing my stress a lot better and also being able to release that stress. So whether it be like with my husband, the kids, work or whatever, I truly just don't really hold on to things anymore. And then as I mentioned before, like we have a common goal. Like I know that, and I think that that's where having that common goal kind of like gives you the ability to move through things faster because at the end of the day, you know that you love each other, like you're there to support each other. Like sometimes we'll get on heated, get into heated arguments like while we're walking, you know? And it's kind of like, all right, but at the end of the day, like we're still here. Like we've got four more miles to go. Like, are we really gonna do, do this the entire time? And you have the ability to, and not even like on a physical level, um, you guys are like from a chemical level, like with dopamine and you know, all the good 
healthy chemical releases that happen, neurotransmitters that happen when you're walking alone. So yeah, that could have something to do with it as well. And also, um, whenever you're improving yourself, like you really don't have the time to focus on like little things because as you continue to grow as an individual and within your marriage, like some things really do become like they carry less weight, I would say. Absolutely. Yeah. And also, you guys, I have number five because I know the people want to know. <laughs> It's okay, he wanted to talk about it, and I was like, no, 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 we probably shouldn't talk about that because we're gonna get demonetized. But um, married couples, like, because we are a Christian couple, um, so how was Seggy time? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Which word are you gonna use? Okay, so which word should we use? Intimacy or that Seggy was... time? Intimacy? You choose. So intimacy. So how is it? Int intimacy? Is it better or worse or whatever? I would think that we've always had a really great connection, but I'll definitely say that I feel that I've always been like confidence level 10, energy level 10. Well, now I'm definitely like confidence level 15, energy level 15. Um, what would you say? I would say that uh, since videos have been put out uh in this endeavor we've had disagreements in the sense that i'm not interested in uh being on camera i don't enjoy it it's it's a family thing you know we, we don't we're not camera people we're very camera shy however we had a very in-depth conversation just before this video <laughs> we had a very in-depth conversation and after that conversation it it Open my eyes that yes, it's a good idea. I will do a video today. As a result of that conversation, <laughs> I will say that. That was a great conversation. <laughs> that was a very intimate conversation. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up for my lovely husband. General us. Captain Commander. <laughs> Yes, because he is not the camera guy at all, but we really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Feel free to DM me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, and we'll be sure to address them, or it may just be me, addressing them in a later video. Oh, uh, oh. Teamwork makes the dream work. Listen, you smash that like button. It's down there somewhere. You smash it. You make sure you hit it and you make sure it likes, lights up and subscribe. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I don't even have to say it. All right, guys. Bye. You have to say bye. 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 <laughs> We're done.